So you can expose SAP QE transaction in the Theory Launchpad to provide users with a unified and modern interface for accessing both new Theory apps and traditional transactions. Here is a breakdown of the process. First, verify transaction type. Ensure the transaction is compatible with the SAP GUI for HTML. You can check this using transaction is 893. So I go to my height finder, SAP menu, and I'm looking for SA93. Okay, maintain transaction code. I go to. Uh, okay, and I'm looking for my transaction is SSD SM. SSD SM. SM. Display. Okay. Sub GUI for HTML is tick. It's good. I, I know two things. This one, which is the description I want to keep. Okay, it's good. Then uh, the next step. Number two, create a semantic object. For that, use transaction UI2 sem object to create a semantic object for the transaction. This object acts a link between the theory launchpad and the transaction. A semantic object is a technical name that represents a business unit, sales order, purchase order, or serial number. So I call the uh, transaction uh, I note. Okay, I show you. I just have to call like this. Okay, define semantic object customer. Good. I call the transaction like this. I click on edit. Yes, continue. Then I just have to new entry i enter the semantic i object that i want to create my uh, semantic object name and description so the the name in english is um, research um, order per serial number so i click on i save i had to the work page request I proved I ne I go back but I, I never forget uh, to translate because okay somebody has forgotten to translate in English is not good is not good uh, all the time please translate all the time with all the language defined in the system so selection um, go to translation for example, for my customer, the French and the English are both language, but in this case, all the times. Okay, translate, translate, even if you put in the same language, do this, do that. It's really important. That, French, okay. This this okay I enlarge my screen like this and I proceed like this proceed like this like this like this like this like this and like that so I click on continue I save always save so everything has been saved correctly as you can see, data was safe. Okay. I go to my home. So, then, third, use the Fury Launchpad Designer. Access the Fury Launchpad Designer, FLP Designer. So, okay. So, I call the uh, FLP designer. I created previously my catalog. So right now, or I check that, I click on to be sure that it's assigned to the right tr transport request. Yes, get yeah, the, from the tire, the 
the wall and not the tire the wall uh then i nine is good is that my package okay perfect great so um i created a catalog if needed if the catalog tab create a new custom catalog or use an existing one to organize your transaction um create number five create a till in the catalog create a new till of the uh, type app launcher static uh, link the till of the semantic object you created earlier and provide the till subtitle and icon for the title okay so here you are an example the last one you identify the, the, the all the information okay it's good I go back right now. I click on Had Till, Had Plunger Static. I had all the information. I'm looking for my object. I remember that SD, S, S, A. It's weird. I do not see that. It, uh, is that SD, S, M. Okay. It's weird that the system is not able to identify. Um, is that that is the SOK monitor? Uh, title. I just have to add the title. Uh, the title is Recherche Command par Numero de Serie. Okay. Subtitled ZSDSN. The keyword ZSDSN. I'm looking for again that an icon, uh, for example, uh, it's not this one, the same, okay, okay, I save. So that is DSN, if I'm looking for, so that the first one, reporting, manage, if I want to change, for example, Okay, it's good if I change it. Uh, for example, I want to add a release monitor. That is good. I said. So I've got my new semantic object navigation. Okay, that is the SN. I've got the action parameters, the subtitle, the keywords. So it's good. Then the next step is create a target mapping. Create a target mapping to define how the till will, will launch the transaction. Specify the transaction code and any necessary parameters. So I click on target mapping. Create target mapping. Then again, it's not application type, it's a grid trans transaction. The title, again, we put the name of the title. The Transaction ZSD serial number uh, local and the semantic object ZSD SN uh, why not see that ZSD SN and the action is monitor uh, desktop tablet phone so I save. So it's good. Uh, if I want to change also, you can also, for example, change something. If I want to change the configuration, I just have, for example, to uh, go here. And for example, I want to change to monitor. I double click and save. Step six, create, um, no, step six is create the target mapping. Number seven, um, create a group. Create a group to which the till will be assigned. Groups are used to organize tills in the launch pad. But you can use also, a previous, I created previously a group. For example, I want to add to the Z group IRC, show a still. I click on add till. I select, I just have to click on add. Till, recherche par numéro de compte série, had it successfully, good. And Everything is okay, has been added. So the next step, uh, assign the group 
to a row. So for that, it's very simple. I call the uh, app finder. I go to my menu, submenu, submenu, just wait, and I call the PFCG, PFCG, PFCG to maintain role maintenance. Okay. I created previously a role to add all the all this kind of transaction ZRC. I click on change. I go to my menu and I click on SAP Fury Launchpad catalog. If I go here, Launchpad catalog. Z catalog RRC continue okay I say it's good I remove this line no 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 H catalog Z cat like Z Z Z Z yes continue I've got my two transaction okay i go to the authorization to check if i have something to update yep i generate i have a look to uh, authorization t code uh, and i've got my two t code so it's good i go back i have a look to, uh, for example uh, if i want to add fabris uh, fsc for example okay it's good user comparison yep okay it's good or safe and the last the last is testing the fury launchpad open the fury launchpad and verify that the till appears and launch the transaction correctly so it's very simple okay i go i just to refresh my page I click on App Finder and I'm looking for my catalog, Zate Cat RRC. Just wait that all everything is refreshed correctly. Zate Cat. That cat. How? Let's try again. Okay. Chasing. A customer, customer RRC. For example, just click here RRC. My catalog is. Oh, it's weird. I just only see the catalog IRC. I do not see. Uh, I don't know what happens. Uh, perhaps it's not refresh correctly. I so weird. I'm sure that I added correctly all the all these things. Okay. Ah, yeah. Catalog ARC. Uh, I see recharge. Okay. I click on and that sounds good. Yes, great.